Good afternoon, Foundation staff. This is Level 4 Researcher Theron Sherman, and today's broadcast illustrates one of the age-old problems we're always facing in our containment duties. We're talking about SCP-5535. It's Level 1 Classified, Containment Class, Euclid. Disruption Class, Dark. Risk Class, Caution. Why do we have so many of these now? Ah. Special Containment Procedures. SCP-5535 is kept in the standard humanoid containment chamber at Site-17. A guard must be posted in the adjoined observation room in case SCP-5535 attempts to harm itself. SCP-5535's left arm has been encased in a specialized container, which prevents it from moving. This container is to be removed once per week to prevent muscle atrophy in the arm. This can only be done by the current researcher assigned to SCP-5535, and a guard must be present during the removal. Description SCP-5535, previously known as Mateo Velez, is a Hispanic male born on July 5th, 1986, who suffers from an anomalous version of alien hand syndrome. The subject completely lacks control over its left arm, which is actively hostile toward the main body, as well as any surrounding individuals, despite not having sustained any damage to the corpus callosum, the posterior parietal cortex, the supplementary motor area, or the anterior cingulate cortex, which is usually the cause of AHS. History SCP-5535 was arrested for the murder of its wife and the attempted murder of its child on July 13, 2016. The subject claimed that it had lost control over its left hand, which had then choked its wife to death against its will. SCP-5535 was released by the police and delivered to a hospital. It was further detained by the Foundation after its anomalous brain chemistry was discovered by the hospital. Following containment, SCP-5535 claimed that it had been possessed by some sort of incorporeal entity that took control of its arm. Incident 5535.1 During a weekly removal of the container constricting SCP-5535's arm, instead of attempting to assault nearby personnel as usual, the hand mimicked the act of writing. In hopes of uncovering more about the anomaly, the hand was provided with pen and paper. It is to be noted that this seemed to aggravate SCP-5535, who was extremely vocal about his objections and had to be restrained. The note written by the hand has been attached below. First of all, I apologize for trying to hurt you people before. You stopped me from moving so I thought you were with him. Now I have noted that he is imprisoned as well, so I know that that's not the case. This man is not who he says he is. He is an imposter and a body snatcher. I am the real Mateo Velez. I do not know what he is, but it's not human, I assure you of that. It came to me and forced itself into my mind. It tried to overwrite me or erase me or something, but it didn't succeed, not fully. I was forced to watch through my own eyes as this bastard killed my beloved with my hands. But when he put his hands on my daughter, I knew I couldn't let him. I managed to take control of the part of the brain that controls his hand, and I used it to stop him. I've been clinging on ever since. Please help me if you can. I can feel myself fading, and I don't know how much longer I can hold on. You must help me to get rid of this fake. You must erase his consciousness out of my brains and return control of what belongs to me back. Help me, please, help me. Afterward, after the previous message was delivered, the affected arm fell dormant and has been considerably more docile than before, only occasionally attempting to harm the body. Considering the contents of the message, the container is to be removed thrice weekly and communications with the arm are to be upheld in order to determine the exact nature of the anomaly. SCP-5535 has been vocal about his objections toward this development, claiming the other consciousness to be lying. Research continues. <laughs> oh boy, he's the body snatcher. No, he's the body snatcher. No, shoot you. No, shoot you. <laughs> We've all been there, am I right? <sighs> all right, staff. That ends our broadcast for the day. Use your Foundation Encrypted YouTube account to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit the bell. And support our broadcast at patreon.com slash site42.